What's up guys, coming at you from Miami. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to slip the jab and my two favorite counters. We're talking about two different distances here. First, take a quick look outside. We're on the golf course, it's beautiful here. We absolutely love Miami, one of our favorite spots that we've been throughout all our years of travel. So what we're going to be focusing on today is when this jab comes at you and you decide to evade it, what are your options? What are my two favorite options? Because there's a number of them, but what are my two favorite and what are the counters behind it? So first off, we have different distances that we can utilize. When a jab comes, I can either move backwards or I can slip the jab and move to the side. When I slip the jab, I want to be very cautious, very certain that I don't go just to the side, but I actually move my head a little bit forward. I do that so that when the jab comes, I'm not way over here, but I'm more in this zone. The closer I get, the harder it is for the counter cross or the follow-up cross to come and hit me. In addition, as I move my weight forward, I can throw my own jab and land with power. Whereas if I lean to the side and I jab, there's no power. So from a little bit more of a distance, what I like to do when I see a jab come is I move my head forward and off to the side, both of those together, and I throw my own jab. This takes timing and a lot of skills, but if I see that jab come and I can just move and hit, I'm making sure that every time they throw, I hit them, they start getting a little disappointed and they might stop throwing as much. That's an amazing technique. The next one is when I pull my head backwards. Now this is a combination of a little back flexion, a tiny bit, maybe just a little pull, but also the knee bending on the back leg. That accomplishes two things. Number one, it doesn't load my back up too much, but number two, as I shift my weight backwards, now I can push off and come back with my counter cross. So my second favorite technique when the jab comes is to pull back, load the back foot, and then drive off it into my counter cross. This one is really good for somebody who has a lazy jab. If they attack you and they pull their hand back low, they're not really diligent about rechambering fast and coming to the head, there's a small opening for you to wait, pull, and then tag them back. I've been on the end of a couple high level boxers, one of which now is a pro world champion out of Ireland. I did some boxing with him and I noticed that his pull counter cross was so dangerous. It got so dangerous that I stopped throwing my jab and decided just to fight in tight with him because I'm going every time I throw it, he comes over top or gets back and tags me. And we're talking about me even pulling my hand back, but he was just so quick on it. So the two things today, the two techniques which I want you to try, I think you will love, is number one, from a distance, you see the jab come, commit your weight forward, throw your own jab. Number two, the jab comes, slip either backwards or sideways a little bit, and then come back with your own counter cross. These are my two favorite slips and counters to the jab. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode coming from Miami. I will see you back here soon for another video.